so now let's move further and now let's change this data to dynamic data right okay so let's work for that right okay so before working on that we will go to our node.js and we'll change some so i'll go to this route and it's auth i'll make this all post a kind of protected route so here i'll be using required login user need to have logged in in order to access this right okay in order to make a get request on this okay let's save this let's see if a uh, uh, development server restarted okay it has restarted okay beautiful now we will again go to our home screen in here yeah here we need to add a lot of logic so first of all i'll be importing use state hook and, it, and it's too simple right to implement the logic because we have done with a lot of difficult stuff right and we have done with the difficult stuff now all the difficult stuff is over right now and now we need to implete implete tiny to any logic very tiny tiny logics right okay const data and set data use state initially this will be an empty array okay now i can make use of use use effect hook because i want to fetch the data and i can do that in the use effect hook use effect us ef use effect okay i can make use of use effect and now i'll pass a second option of empty dependency because i want this component to load for the for, for or the only one time when this component is mounting right now i can make a network request to slash let's see what was the request where we want well, let's see what was the route where we want to make a request that so was all post right okay all post and this will be a get request right okay but we need to add headers right we need to add headers inside this headers we have a u t h o r i z a t i u n now you can put this authorization in the quotes maybe or maybe without quote it works okay make sure spelling is correct now in here b e a r e r b e r space and we can get the token right from the local storage so i can write local storage dot get get item and that is what was the name jwt i guess let's have a look jwt yes okay now here i need i need not to put any condition to detect if jwt is if the token is present or not because user is ab only able to see this home screen if they are logged in and if they are logged in they definitely have the token right yes so i need not to put a condition to to first check if this is present or not because it, it is definitely present if user is able to access the home screen right okay dot then response dot json we need to pass that to json and dot then uh uh result first of all i'll be doing console.log and i i am very sure that this will be an array right so i'll be updating my set as well set data and results i'm very sure this will be an array so i'll just first console.log and then i'll update it and now in, here we have a lot of cards so i can get rid of all this home cards i can get rid of this home home card right this home card we have a lot of home cards in here instead i'll only keep one in here so i'll get rid of this two things two cards so for that uh, yeah like so i can remove this like so yeah now we have only one home card okay so first of all i'll be iterating over uh data dot map right so you i will be treating and here I, i can add item and in here we can return this like so okay and and let's
let's first test this. Let's see what we have in this item or let's see what we have this in this data. Let's save this and let's test this first. So I'll go to this console. Console. Data.map is not a function. Why is that a case? Maybe we have some, we have done something wrong maybe, but this data is an array, right? Let's try to refresh this. We are getting console.log that is in empty array uh, from the line number 13. Assert. I'll comment this, but this will not make a change in here. Okay, so we are not getting error, but we are getting error when we are. Oh, oh, oh my bad! I am console dot logging this data instead. I should console dot log result. Let's see what uh, what we have in this result. Okay, so we have post. Oh my bad. This is not an array. This is an object. Inside this object, we have array. My bad. That is why we are getting an error. Okay, okay, okay. Now in this post, we have array and we have only the one post. That is, yeah. Okay, I got that. I got it. Okay, I got it. I can get rid of this A result dot post instead. Post or posts? Oh, post uh, s. We need to put S in here. Okay, I, I got error. Okay, let's save this. Now we should be able to see one post, but still the and the type these data are, are static. But now we can make it dynamic. Now we in this item. Uh, first of all, we'll be changing. We have name right? Who posted this right? So we have. Let me again console dot log. I don't know what was. Or I know, right? I know, I know, I know, I know. In this item, it item, we have postd posted by and by, and from here I can access name, right? Yeah. Okay. I can access image from photo, right? We have photo in our database. Item dot p h o t o right and we have title right item dot t i t l e title and ah we have body as well right let's save this and let's see let's cross our fingers okay amazing here we can see the title enjoying weather the name of the user who posted and this is beautiful isn't it right so now what i will do i will uh, sign maybe i will log out so maybe we can add a logout functionality and maybe we can create one more user and then we can test this that as well right maybe right now we have only one user so yeah we will be creating one more user and then we will test more stuff right okay so I'll see you guys. Oh, here we are getting an error that is saying that we should add a key when we are iterating. So we can add a key when we are iterating. So we can add a key in here. Key. And we can add the ID, right? We can add the ID. So we have an item. We have dot underscore ID of the post. So we can give that as a key. Let's save this. Okay. Yeah. So now error should be gone in here. Oh, I can refresh this. Key prop. I gave a key, right? Then why it is throwing me an error again? Index.js on line number one. Oh, the error is inside the nav bar. Let's look. 
again on the nav bar do we have something in here oh this is an array that is why it is complaining right so that is why it is uh, telling us to add a key to all this list okay we can ignore that that for now because it doesn't make much of the difference in here okay so yeah we can ignore that error okay so maybe i'll see you guys in the next video maybe we'll be working on the logout functionality so i'll see you guys in the next video